Well, my diabolical plot worked. We finally got John Stewart to acknowledge the question of whether he's way softer on Democrats, as with his really friendly Hillary interview, than on Republicans. Now, don't give me that he's just a comedian stuff. John Stewart is an important media commentator who uses humor to make his points. Anyway, here's how Stewart handled the question that I put to John McCain on last Sunday's program. Yes, from immigration to rogue nations to conflagrations, this past Sunday, our nation's leading Journalistic Lights sought answers to the day's most pressing questions. You've been on The Daily Show. Is Jon Stewart fair to Republicans? <laughs> Obviously, it's a question we're all waiting for, Senator. No, but he, he you know, it doesn't matter really. <laughs> Why, Senator? Why? When he says things uh, which he's entitled to, after all, he's a late night comic mm -hmm. uh, that are absolutely wrong, and he gets away with it. <laughs> no, he's right. Those late night comics do get away with mistake after mistake, <laughs> some with catastrophic consequence. But I would be willing to bet, McCain, that if we went wrongo e wrongo, you'd come out on bottom. My record of absolute wrongness against your record of absolute wrongness for a good old-fashioned wrong off. That's pretty funny stuff. By the way, I did ask the senator about one such moment, why he never apologized for his misjudgment in backing the Iraq war based on Saddam's non-existent weapons of mass destruction. And he blamed it on the case made by then Secretary of State Colin Powell. Nor did the host of The Daily Show include my rather positive observation that he's not just a late night comic, but an important social critic with a strong following among young people. But did you notice how he did something very clever there? He turned the debate into a credibility clash between him and McCain. But what about this question? Is John Stewart fair to Republicans? On that, John Stewart sidestepped, ducked, dodged, evaded, changed the subject. But if you ever like to take it on, John, I'm available. Just have your people call my people. Still to come, CNN's Chris Cuomo calls out a Russia Today pundit over the plane shootdown. And what do Snoop Dogg and Bob Beckel have in common? Our video verdict in a moment.